everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. 2022 models are starting to roll onto our lot from Jayco, and I've got one right behind me. This is a Jayco Eagle 321 RSTS. This guy's a little over 11,000 pounds dry weight, 36 and a half feet long, not huge. But before I get started, there's three really neat new features in 2022 that I want to show off to you. We'll do those and then we'll get on with our walk around, okay? Number one, new in 22, Jayco gives you a place to stow your sewer hose. Number two, instead of pleated shades, we now have roller shades. And number three, perhaps my favorite, it's a 4K smart TV. One thing I love about this floor plan is all of the awning space for the patio side. I don't really have room to extend these awnings here because we've got them parked pretty close together. But check out this awning, and then there's also an awning on the slide out. Uh, so when you put both of those out, we have all kinds of room out here on the patio side, the fun side of your camper where the picnic table and the campfire always is. We've got a lot of room out here to enjoy the campsite side of the camper. I call this side the utility side. I call this side the campsite side because it's the side where we have all the fun. So I like to have a lot of awning cover and we do on this one. Now on this Eagle, we have an enormous, a ginormous amount of storage in here. I don't know if you noticed, but this light pops on. These are motion sensor lights. So your hands are full, loading things in and out. These lights are going to pop on automatically for you. You don't have to fumble around for a light switch. You can see right here is a Blackstone griddle platform. This unit comes, we ordered it, with a Blackstone griddle. You don't see a Blackstone griddle because there's a shortage of them, but you can sign up and we'll get you one when they become available again, thanks to this little germ that's floating around in the last year. But that's where your platform goes. We have all this nice storage area under here. Uh, put all your, all your gadgets. Now, look at this. I look in here and immediately I can see this has been prepped for a generator. So we have a propane bottle on this side and if you want to drop a generator in here, you can. Right here we've got the pigtail. This is where your uh, generator would be housed. Your battery's over here. If you opt not to have a generator, then you have all this for just storage. You win either way. Another propane bottle right here. And the opposite side of our pass-through. Boom, the light comes on. Now. This is, uh, again, nice, clean. We have a battery disconnect up here, and then we have our auto leveling system right here. One button to auto level, and remember, you can always level manually. Uh, I'm personally a fan of leveling manually. I know it's tempting to just hit one button and walk away and watch it do its thing. Sometimes you don't want those jacks to go down all the way. Maybe you're in a situation where you just need a little bit of leveling. I personally like to do the leveling one jack at a time. You can do it that way. Now this is our utility bay where all of our hookups are going to be. We can route our hoses and so on right up through here. Everything is nicely labeled. So we have our gray tank uh, valve poles right here in black. This takes all the mystery out of it right here. So when it's time to sanitize your tanks, <laughs> the green one's going to go like this, the blue one's going to go like this. Used to be that uh, RV dealer uh, manufacturers uh, made this a pretty complicated process. Jayco makes it super easy. So when you're filling your tank here and when you're dry camping like this, then you know you've got it hooked up right. Of course, when it comes time to bypass your water heater and do winterizing or sanitizing tasks, easy to do. We have hot and cold spray port right there and that blue pig pigtail hose in, in the bay there hooks onto here so we can spray off our legs at the beach give the pet a bath, what have you. Detachable 50 amp power cord right here, which of course comes with the RV. A lot of folks ask me what comes with a new trailer. It'll come with a power cord. It won't come with a water hose or a sewer hose. Those are things that you'll need to purchase yourself. You're gonna get 50 bucks credit in our parts store and I can help give you some advice on what's uh, best to get you going and use the RV the same night that you buy it from us. But it will come with a power cord. 
I actually love this. This is the backside of the residential refrigerator. Easy access, so if we ever need to do some maintenance tasks, right here it is. We don't need to pull the refrigerator out from the inside. I can access it from the back, should you ever have to do that. Makes it super easy. I really like that. Probably not gonna need to open this very often, but if you do, right there it is. Low point drain is labeled here, here, and here. Again, I like that Jayco takes the mystery out of it. You can take these off later if you want to. A lot of people like to leave them on just as a reminder until you familiarize yourself with your own coach. You have condensate dripping from the roof, perfectly normal. Notice we have uh, cameras mounted on this already. There's side cameras as well as the rear view backup camera. So you're gonna get a little five inch monitor that's gonna live up in the dash of your vehicle. It's completely wireless and uh, we'll sync that up and we can help you with that before you leave. Now you can see straight down behind the coach. Uh, when it comes time to turn right or left, you can see straight down either side of the coach as you're driving down the interstate. It removes the blind spots. It's a safety thing and I really like that. Notice this is new in 22 as well. We have a 3,000 pound hitch. It used to be all this was, if you got it at all, was just a receiver hitch for like a bike rack or something like that. You can plug in, you get a four way plug here for lights if you have a small trailer, if you're allowed to do that in the state where you live, or put a platform, maybe you're pulling a bicycle, uh, motorcycle rack or something back here. Anyway, 3,000 pounds, it's got a 300 pound hitch rating, weight rating on the tongue. That's cool, and I like that feature. It gives you just that much more flexibility. You'll notice right here we have the J-Port. Pop this up, and in goes your Blackstone griddle platform. So it's right here handy. We have a Quick Connect, LP Quick Connect under here. And you can put actually any grill out here, but it's, uh, it's designed for a Blackstone griddle, which you'll get with this unit. Very nice. Really like this. Let's go inside and take a look, but before we do, I want to brag on these steps. These are the Moride Step Above Steps. Not only do you have a grab bar up here, but you also have this. This is the best of all worlds. So even if you don't have a hip or knee problems, this just makes it really nice to walk up these steps. A lot of people worry about, gosh, this looks like a big contraption. What happens? What do I do with it when I'm traveling? All you have to do is lift up. It's zero gravity. It's not gonna come crashing down on your head. Pop it in here and that's the travel position. And when the door closes, it keeps it from moving around. So close the door like so, pop this up and we're good for travel. It's just that easy to open and close and deploy these steps. Fully adjustable legs as well. I love this feature. Let's go inside and have a look. Now on the inside of this 321, you'll notice a lot of things consistent with what we've seen in the past years, 20 and 21. We're continuing with a modern farmhouse decor option, which of course we have on this unit. Brian, right behind me, you know what to do when I open up the doors. I don't even have to tell you. Hallelujah. Thank you for queuing up the Hallelujah Chorus. 22 cubic feet of refrigerator bliss behind me. Love this. We have ice and water in the door, which is plumbed to a five gallon water bottle that's on board too. So we don't have to bring along a bunch of bottled water to take up room inside the fridge. We've got clean, pure water for cooking, making ice cubes, drinking, and so on. You'll notice a change right here. They've, Jayco's gone to all matte black fixtures. Um, this is a, a new look, kind of an upgraded look. We still have the bamboo cutting board insert and drying rack here and or trivet rack. Double basin stainless steel sink. Nice sized island here with a little charging port. Pull this up and we have household current as well as USB charging right here. Now, this is a not a huge unit, 36 and a half feet long, but look how nice this is. We have the open floor concept with kitchen, dining, living room right here. 
So very comfortable, nice viewing angle from the theater seats here, which are reclinable. Just pop this, and I've got a perfect angle to view the TV. Um, nice fireplace underneath there, and you'll notice again, JBL Electronics. This is a bona fide electronic system here. Nice speakers, so you'll notice A, B, C. A zone are these speakers. B zone are the speakers in the ceiling above us. C zone is the speakers out on the patio. You can turn them all on at the same time if you want to, but here's the key. JBL is a great sound system, so Jayco's not cutting any corners when it comes to audio quality. I already mentioned the 4K Smart TV. It's still Insignia brand. I'll let you peel off the little plasticky thing right there. Plasticky. Look it up, I think it's in the dictionary. If it's not, it's in my wife's dictionary. She says plasticky. Little cover over the Insignia brand. That's a Best Buy brand, so this can be serviced at Best Buy, but most importantly, it's a smart TV. I love that feature. Little storage up above here, and whoops, look at there. We have an HDMI cable already right here to put a component. You don't have to worry about fishing a cable, drilling a hole through the top here, and hooking up a component like a DVD player, a Roku box, what have you. It's all ready for that. It makes it super easy for doing that. Again, I mentioned the fireplace, but it's a glorified space heater, right? So if you paid your 60 bucks a night at a campground, you might as well use their power source rather than your propane. Look on either side of the couch here, we have charging ports, USB charging ports, as well as household current. So it's just a short reach away if you need to charge your gadgets. This sofa folds out into a nice size queen bed for guests if you have guests. Super easy to do. There's not that annoying bar in the back of your back. It's, it's actually quite comfortable. And I'm already bragged about these roller shades. Uh, pleated shades have been the, the gold standard in the RV business for a lot of years. Roller shades are a little more expensive and now we finally have them even in the Eagle. Used to be you would only get those once you got up into the North Point and Pinnacle. So we have roller shades all the way around. Nice reclining seats here. We have a table and uh, two chairs here, two more chairs that live under the bed up there. So if you want to have two additional chairs, they're going to look just like this. They're just folding chairs. You have storage under here for games, books, pens, pencils, things you want to get rid of some clutter. And you've got storage underneath here. Now, if we want to extend the table out, just pull this out. And now we can easily seat four people comfortably around this table. Check this out. Real glass. Uh, I was worried when I first saw these that they seemed, they look fragile. But man, these things are very durable. I've yet to see one of these fall off or any issues. Very classy blown glass uh, type fixtures here. Gives a real high-end feel to this Jayco Eagle. Like this, plenty of prep space here. Of course, we have a power outlet here. So if you have a coffee maker or blender up here, we have our power here. A lot of people don't realize this is actually a dry erase board. So uh, you can take a white uh, marker, which, sorry, I should have brought one with me here. You can write your grocery list, welcome home, um, three more days till we get to Fort Wilderness at Disney World, whatever. Uh, happy birthday, Johnny, whatever. Kind of a neat little thing. And then notice the light pops on automatically. These shelves are all adjustable. So if you have tall items down in the bottom, you can bump, 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 move these up to suit your needs. Take them out if you want to, but they're infinitely adjustable for storage. Four drawers along the side here. Notice, as always, these are full extension drawer glides. Ball bearing full extension drawer glides makes it easy to get to stuff that's even all the way in the back here. Look at this. This is the pre-delivery inspection checklist. Look at all these things that our technicians have to go through and sign off on each one of them to make sure everything in here is in good working order. We do all that before you take delivery so you know everything's in perfect working order. 
Nice size little cooktop and oven. This is a three burner cooktop. Fold this back to become your backsplash. And nice little oven. Big enough for pot pies, pizzas, and so on. Turn the nice fancy lighting on there. This is an upgrade in 2022. Now we have a 30 inch residential size microwave. Very nice. This is a bigger microwave upgraded and they've um, raised it up a little bit so you have a little better sight lines to your cooking area. Of course this is vented to the outside so you can pump those frying bacon smells out there and tempt your neighbors. Love, love, love the refrigerator and on this 321 I love this too. So neat looking countertop material. I don't know if you can see this on the video but this looks like a real high-end solid surface countertop material. That looks like real subway tile. In fact, I can feel the grout lines in between there. It's a one piece panel, but it looks very, very convincing that it's real tile. Very nice. So we have some storage under here that looks like uh, Brian's camera bags under there. So if you buy this unit, apparently you get Brian's camera bag and storage up there. And you also get my cell phone and my sunglasses. Now, this is neat, love this too. Talk about flexibility and design elements. This is all open if you wanna have uh, items hanging in here. If you want a shelf, boom, we have a shelf. Good use of the space inside here. And then up top, shelf, shelf, two more shelves over here. Really, really like that. nice smoked glass inserts you know this is true again uh, with all jacos these are real wood cabinet doors these are solid maple not particle board or osb with tape on them they're real wood these styles are pocket screwed together and the whole assembly is screwed to the framing members of this coach think about it when you're going down the road especially on i-20 east of dallas you're subjecting your trailer, any RV really, to hurricane force winds and earthquake level vibrations. So it's pretty important that these things are put together well. That's why it becomes all the more important for Jayco's build quality. You want these things falling apart going down the road and they won't if it's a Jayco. Jayco backs it up with that two plus three year warranty, three years on the structure, but the important one is the two year comprehensive warranty covers all the gadgetry in here, your slide motors and your appliances and so on. Two full camping seasons. Coming up here into the hallway, you'll notice we have our BM Pro system again. This is consistent with 21. Everything that you can do here, you can do from your phone. If we go to home, that little house, you can see we have our climate control. Tap that little arrow, our main AC and our second AC, and we can adjust these up and down, of course. A little drop is our tank levels the little gear thing is uh, motors, so leveling and slide motors and so on. The little temperature is of course climate and then the light bulb is lighting. Here's the neat thing, if you want to show the camera over in the living room, all I have to do is drag this over and I can dim these lights at any level that I want to. Say I want them like that and I want to leave them there and I hit it off, turn it back on and they come right back on in the place that I left them. You can do that with every one of these lighting systems, the bathroom, bedroom, hallway, sconce lights, I can control from here. Really neat system. Now I do like the countertops that we're putting in 2022. These are very classy. This is a one piece molded polyurethane top, impervious to moisture. Notice again, we have a black fixture right up on top here, classy. And we do have a medicine cabinet with uh, lighting around the back. So place to put your hairbrush and yeah, that was a little joke, hairbrush. Put my hairbrushes up there. And Susan's hairbrushes, uh, toothbrush and so on. Now this is new in 22. Kind of a neat looking pattern. Looks like tile in here. Um, uh, shower surround, kind of like it. And again, we have the black accent here. So I'm six feet tall. Heck, you could be six feet eight in here and have plenty of headroom. I'm not even coming close to hitting this. So plenty of room in here for an average size guy like me to maneuver. These are now black again instead of brushed nickel in 2022. Very nice.
moving into the bedroom and I spy a king bed. So again, we're, we're in a little over 36 foot long unit and we have a king bed in here and room to access the bed from either side. Sometimes when you get a king bed in a short unit, you sacrifice really any room on either side. I got plenty of room here to maneuver, get up here and make the bed from either side. And we have our uh, roller shades up here. Um, as always, we have gas struts on the bed here. So if we lift this up, it'll stay up so that we can get in here. These are the chairs, the folding chairs that match the chairs up front. These are just covers to keep them from scratching and rolling down the road. Once these are out, you have a lot of storage underneath here for other items. Notice plywood, right? When you're shopping for RVs, and you should, look under the mattress, see what you see. If you see a piece of particle board here, I bet you see particle board under the floor, actually where you can't see it. Maybe up in the roof where you can't see it. Always look under the bed. Jayco's always gonna use real plywood, which costs about $8,000 a sheet right now, I hear. Not quite, but a lot. If you wanna add a washer dryer, you can do that. These shelves would come out. It's already prepped put, to put a combo washer dryer unit in here. Either way, you're gonna have this storage up top here. Nice storage, and then uh, decent size uh, closet here, shelves here. You got room for uh, shoes and what have you. Hanging closet rod here for clothes, and obviously there's room for a guitar. Pull this and we have lots of mirror space here. Now, we're uh, got this lapel mic on. The AC's on high right now, so you can get a sense maybe how noisy it's not. Uh, this is what Jayco calls whisper quiet. It's the way the ducting works on this. Uh, instead of straight line raceways, it's a double helix like this, which means a lot more air can flow through these ducts and not create a lot of noise. It's a lot more efficient too. So we have a return right here. Here's the outlet. So I'm standing right under it. We can have a normal conversation or be laying in bed watching a movie here and the sound of the AC is not gonna drown us out. Really like that. Now we have a bunch of drawers right here. It's not super deep because we don't have a, a, a lot of width here at this portion at the foot of the bed, but plenty of room for socks. Um, all these drawers here. Again, of course, when we're camping, this is Susan's area to store her stuff and then all my stuff goes right in there. Full extension drawer glides, just like up front. Good build quality from Jayco all the way around. So again, we're in a Jayco Eagle 321 RSTS, about 36 and a half feet long, 11,002, 300 pounds. You can check my math on that, Brian. Really like this floor plan because it's not a huge unit but it really is huge on features. My name is Mike here at Vaud RV. If you'd like more information about this, click my email address below. Happy to answer questions and make sure you check out our YouTube channel, RV Quick Tips with Mike, where we go over a lot of the basics in using RVs. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.